If you create videos on Windows using Reaper, there's a couple things in the 6.43 update that you need to pay attention to. So there's two things that just recently changed for Reaper in the 6.43 update relevant to video makers on Windows. The first one is OpenGL support. So you can use this instead of direct show for playing back the videos or displaying the video on your screen from Reaper. The other feature is Reaper now supports FFmpeg 4.4, which is the most recent update to FFmpeg. And in this video, I'll show you how to install that. So there's a couple things you actually need to download to get started to get great performance from Reaper for video editing or playback. Uh, VLC Media Player is what I recommend for your video decoder. Reaper will use this to enable importing different video and audio files, as well as just being able to play that back uh, cleanly. When you come here, videoland.org, make sure you get the 64-bit Windows download. That's the one that's going to work with your Reaper 64-bit. Uh, otherwise, Reaper won't be able to see it. All you need to do is download, install it with the default settings, launch the app once, and um, then Reaper will be able to see it. The next thing is 7-Zip. I wish this was optional, but it's going to be required for uh, installing FFmpeg. So again, we're just going to get the 64-bit download right here. And then we're going to get the FFmpeg build from this website here, giant.dev. And you'll see that as one of the recommended options from the ffmpeg.org. Uh, so going back to here, we're going down to release builds, going to making sure that this is 4.4.1 or later. We're going to download this file here, ffmpeg release full shared dot 7z. And this is a 7-zip uh, format download, and this has the correct version for Reaper. So um, on ffmpeg.org, you also see this um, other build from btbn. I did not have good luck with this. Um, this is the GitHub page. I could not get Reaper to recognize this. I also tried OTTverse, um, previous versions of this, maybe a year or so ago, did work, but currently uh, Reaper is not recognizing this version. I don't know what the specific reason is for that. Um, but if you want to be able to export H.264 video from Reaper, you need to have the correct build of FFmpeg. In other words, if you want to produce a video to put it up on YouTube or Twitter or Facebook or Instagram with the fewest amount of steps possible, going right from Reaper to Instagram, for example, you need to have an FFmpeg encoder installed. And I'll show you that next. So let's open up Reaper. And I have the 4.43 version installed. We're gonna go to the preferences. Uh, under the Video Import Miscellaneous page, we're going to set this to OpenGL Automatic. The recommended option here, um, kind of in previous versions, they're going to change this in the future, is Direct Show EVR. This has some bugs, uh, at least on my system, I've seen where the video is actually detached from the actual video window. It's really, really strange. So you have two separate windows, and the one that's displaying the video gets hidden behind the actual Reaper screen if you click off anywhere. So it just doesn't work unless you're using a lot of the other options. What's recommended now, uh, as of this video, as of today, OpenGL Automatic. This seems to work really well for playing back anything. It's efficient, it doesn't have those bugs, things like that. And then the other thing here, you can just put in something similar to this. If you just put in VLC as your video decoder priority, you're gonna be in pretty good shape for playing back pretty much any type of video file. And you can go more granular for specific types of files uh, using FFmpeg. So if at this point you have Reaper installed, you have 7-zip installed, you have VLC installed, the next thing you need to do is install a FFmpeg and I'll show you the correct folder to put that in. So you're gonna go to the options menu and then show Reaper resource path in Explorer slash Finder. And in here, we're looking for the user plugins folder. We're going to copy files from the FFmpeg download into this folder. So keep this window open. We're going to right click on the downloads folder and then open in a new window. I've extracted the FFmpeg 
into this folder. And we're looking at the bin folder. Just select everything, copy it with control C, paste it with control V, and then we're going to restart Reaper. And we can verify that this is working by going to the preferences, going to show available decoder information. We want to make sure that VLC 3.x is installed and also ffmpeg slash libav is installed. We should see something like v58 and loaded from the actual user plugins folder. If you have the wrong version of ffmpeg installed, this will show uh, c slash program files slash reaper. Hopefully this isn't confusing, but there's two folders where Reaper is installed. The first is the resources folder and the second is actually in program files. So if we find the Reaper 64 folder and go to plugins, not user plugins, but plugins, there is an FFmpeg file in here, but this is just the super limited version that basically allows Reaper to like write wave files and things like that. But for video, you need the full FFmpeg. And so that's installed, and we can hit OK. And then the next thing to verify uh, if this is working, we go to File and Render. And if we set our render type to Video with FFmpeg and Format Qt MOV MP4, we should see H.264 here now. If you have the wrong version of FFmpeg installed here, you will only see MJPEG. You won't have the option of doing H.264 ready to be viewed by the web, high quality um, videos. So that's how you install VLC and FFmpeg and making sure they're working in Reaper. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. Visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.